Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and there's a thrilling atmosphere here tonight because the team that is home was on the road, and they got the split in the first two games away. Is there a caution for the home team in this one? Well, I think there is, Doc, because I think they accomplished their goal. Yes, you'd like to win the first two games on the road in a playoff series, but realistically, if you can come home 1-1, You've accomplished that goal. Now you have to reassess. Now you have the home ice and see if you can take advantage of winning one of those first two games on the road. Squad's got the momentum in this series now. They have their crowd behind them. The coaching staff will get the matchups they want, which will give them the opportunity to take a lead in this series. We jump to the third period where New York leads 3-1, to one, but they have just committed a tripping penalty that will put Sasha Sausage and Muffin on the penalty shot. Back. All he needed to do was take another stride or two. He might not have given a call for the penalty shot on the tripping infraction. Stats advantage to the goalies. Big test now. You want to be in that situation to put the pressure on the other team. Alabama is unable to complete the comeback. And New York takes the game. The game is over. The game ends. The final score is the narrowest of victories that you can have. Doesn't get any better than this. Some great saves late. Some good opportunities. Everybody's going home happy on the winning side. Playoff hockey always is special. We hope this one was for you. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night. New York now leads the series 2-1. to one. That means this game on Sunday could be the series decider, and New York could do it at home. Tune in to find out. Will New York be going to this Galvaball Cup Finals, or will Alabama force a Game 5?